What's going on everyone? Hope y'all having a great day and tonight I'm actually with my one of my good friends Brandon and uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're not necessarily working on cars but we are working on car parts and uh, Brandon's going to uh, just kind of show you everything what's going on here and, and uh, kind of explain everything and uh, I'll kind of uh, try and explain myself as we go along but everyone what's up Brandon? Nice to meet you all. So we're working on some brake calipers today. Front and rear, they are the V4 STI calipers, Brembo, but the OG ones that come with the Subaru imprints on them. So if you look over here, we got our front calipers. They've all been ceramic coated and I got the decals put on nice. And then uh, the hardware is all here, it's all new, except for the casting bolts, which those are uh, newly refinished with black zinc and we're gonna put it all together and see how it goes yep and so we got we got everything to assemble these calipers here and we got some brake fluid to just kind of go through everything re lubricate everything and we also got some some stickers right there some some nice sticker action oh yeah uh, but yeah these are actually looking really good what's the color on them the color is burnt brass or burnt bronze, one of the two. Um, and they are ceramic coated, not powder coated because the powder coating wasn't working. Oh, yes, the powder coating wasn't working. There's a little bit of boo-boos on them. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but there is a little bit of boo-boos. But yeah. as to be expected, they are, they are old calipers. So um, I think we're just gonna go ahead and uh, start jumping right into it here. And uh, we'll just see what uh, See how the process goes. Brandon's gonna be more knowledgeable of how the process goes than I am, but we are just gonna take it one step at a time. Take these guys right here and we gotta swish them in some brake fluid. Just toss them in there. And then that should be plenty. You gotta get one out of here. And these go inside of here. That can be a little tricky from what I have seen. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good, I believe. Now we'll go ahead and get our next one. Lubricating our pistons that are going to go in there and just getting them nice and coated and some brake fluid so that they can slide in there nice and easy. Let's just see if these are going to work out for us. That? Something like that. And then this guy. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Now your pistons are installed, and now we just got to seat the calipers together. So, we're going to get a little bit of our thread lock here. Just use a little bit. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. You're a lot. That's fine. Okay. There you go. All right. It'll be fine. We'll just clean off a little bit of this. It'll be just fine. All right. Now we got to get this guy up on here. Try and line it up just right. 
things about your calipers, man. Oh. Your poopy calipers. Why, thank you. I just try to get your bolts started. And that should be plenty. Now what we'll do is we'll mount this up on the clamp right here and then we'll tighten these all down and get them torqued to spec. Okay, so we got our caliper up on the clamp and now I'm just gonna tighten these down. This may take a little bit, so bear with me. Just wanna get them snug down and then we want to actually torque these to spec. For the sake of saving time, we've decided to do one of those small calipers for the rear, get it done, and now we're going to come over here and complete a front caliper. Yeah, this is the small caliper Brandon was talking about. This is one of the rears. That is all assembled. All the juices are in there. All the all the plugs and everything are good there. So now we are, like what he's saying, we're just moving on to the uh, the front calipers for video video sake because this process is taking a little bit longer than expected but um, Yeah, I think that we're just gonna go ahead do this. It's Essentially the same exact steps as that but bigger and you got four pistons instead of two Yep, so you try and work your gaskets in on all of these Get them in there correctly you don't want to have these gas to get twist on you that happened a couple times already but you get these in here there's a nice little canal in there where you're trying to get these gaskets to go so we'll go ahead and do this one we're gonna do this other back side of the caliper get this one done as well All right, there you go. Now we're gonna take our pistons, and dip them in the juice, and get them nice and coated so that they slide into the caliper nice and easy. Now, what we have found is you don't want these to go in there all the way, otherwise it makes it difficult to get the other rubber bits on there. So we'll probably call that good on that one. Get this guy dipped in here. to get too much brake fluid on everything. Now before we go pushing those all the way in, we'll get our gaskets. And we gotta move these guys around. Just like that. Now we can go ahead and press these a little further down in. So, 
to that car, it's going crazy. A little bit, yeah. All right, now we want to grab our little metal rings here. We need four of these. People are in the comments room like, why is he using red Loctite instead of purple? Instead of purple? Or it's blue or whatever it is. Yeah, well, because red Loctite is the best Loctite. Now, funny enough, for some reason, the rear calipers come with washers and the fronts do not. Oh. I could not tell you why. I don't know why whoever was in Japan at the time decided that's the way it should be. Are you sure you're not just missing the washers? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, just making I, sure. I looked into it. I wanted to make sure. Although, to be honest, I could probably still put washers on these if I wanted to. Yeah, that's true. And I have extra washers, so maybe, maybe I should have. But we're 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 committed now. Yeah, we are committed. Alrighty. may want to tell your call your girlfriend tell her that you're not coming home tonight it's taking too long she already knows all right there you go golly brew oh. and we're gonna twerk it eventually probably not tonight but we will you have my word. All right. Well, show it off. Show off the, the caliper. All right. So you got your burnt brass with black accent, black zinc plated bolts, and this thing should be ready to go on. Just got to put a couple of the other bits of hardware on here, but I need the pads first. So that's going to have to wait. And then show off your rear one. The rear one looking good as well. We actually put them side by side. Let's just see the size difference between the two. All right, so you got your rear caliper versus your front caliper. Looking saucy. Well, that might wrap it up for this video. It was a long one, but we, we made it work. Um, we wanted to show you the process of the rear and the front caliper. Uh, we got, still got plenty more to do here, but for video's sake, I wanted to capture both the front and the rear caliper assembly process with Brandon. This is our, our first time even doing anything like this. I didn't do anything, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just sat here with the camera, but. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, later, we'll uh, make a video of Brandon's car, just in general. We'll we'll just kind of go from there and just see, um, just look at his process too of 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 his build. As you, you probably, it's pretty obvious he has a Subaru. That's why he's a. Uh, of course. That's why he's doing that. He has a 2.5 RS, which you know. Later, we'll make make some more videos on it. It's it's actually right now it's. It's a pretty cool car, but it needs a paint job. It needs yeah. a paint job, and uh, we're do giving it some goodies. But uh, I think it is working out just fine. But yeah, you did the uh, the front caliper way faster than the back one. Well, I mean, it was my first attempt at this, so I mean, you got to give me a little bit of leeway. Yeah. So um, I think it's 
what Brandon is doing here is awesome and I'm excited to see how it goes and when you get them on the car and people are like oh sick caliper dude and you're like yeah I made those I made those I assembled these calipers myself and so yeah super sweet this saga will continue eventually but for now this is um, the start of kind of this little video series every time that me and Brian get together I'll bring the camera and we will uh, explore this project this is gonna be a big one we have big plans for for this little guy so, oh yeah yeah all right well thank you guys so much for checking out today's video i hope you guys enjoyed a little mix up of content here and um yeah that's all i gotta say i do got new merch in the bio or in the description wherever you want to call it um some memes some memes on t-shirts brandon did you know did you know i made t-shirts with memes on them i'm definitely go, gonna go take a look at i would that. check that out you know it's just in the description down below there I, I, I would check out some some memes with shirts on them memes that i came up with so they're they're down there but uh fact boy down there leave a like and subscribe to the channel and uh we'll catch you guys up next time with i don't know with with whatever whatever's next whatever's next maybe with me maybe with brandon what's it whichever whatever floats your boat well you know we'll just have to see what uh next videos bring us so uh yeah later